morning, everybody. Welcome to Two Diesel Constitution Island Style. I'm Antoinette, your hostess. Oh, I want to say thank you to our returning fiber family. Thank you, the new fiber family. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. Hit the little button below. Hit the button, the bell, all, and when I upload, hopefully, YouTube will notify you. everybody had a good weekend. Um, yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> Straight out. No time off. This is uh, my, I have got to find some time to slow down. I hope everybody had a chance to watch or either there for the live premiere of the interview with Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios or you had a chance to watch Drake Play. I hope you enjoyed that interview. Um, my next interview is filmed. I just have to edit it and schedule the premiere. It will be for December. It is with Samuel from an Irish Knitting Podcast. A very interesting man and not hard on the eyes. Um, I was thinking this morning and I had an idea and I'll talk about this later either in a live or you know in on post on the community tab or something but I was thinking if you would like me to do an interview with any of our podcasters I can reach out to them and see if they'll do it. Um, my interviews are not live. They are recorded and then I upload it as a premiere. Um, the people I've interviewed seem to be more comfortable with that rather than doing it live. Um, so uh, if you know of a particular podcaster you would like to like me to interview, feel free to put it in the comments below and I will look through the comments and I will send out the appropriate um, emails. You know, and I, you know, try to do maybe, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, you know, one a month or two a month. I, you know, just no set number, no set schedule, but at least one, one a month. Um, I'd like to, you know, introduce big or small channels. It doesn't matter. If you would like to do an interview with you, send that to me too. I'll be more than glad to do that. Um, this morning I am off to the mainland. I have to attend a, um, it's like a class with uh, my boss for uh, the Red Cross uh, first aid courses I teach. Um, some of the new instructors, were all, he has, a, has us coming over to his house. We're just going to go over the curriculum, the PowerPoint, and just skills and stuff like that, basically. So that's where I'm off today. After being up all night with the husband that was throwing up and the other end and is feeling really, really miserable. And if he doesn't feel much better, that when I get back this afternoon, I gotta grab a couple, couple hour nap, and then go in and work for him tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm on the Abnaki for 13 and a half hours. Maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday I'll have some time. Yesterday, um, I got, I had to go to the mainland. All of us went to the mainland. We had a family dinner with my niece and my great niece. And it was my sister-in-law's birthday, and my brother-in-law got his red seal for his uh, crane certification, so it was kind of an all-general celebration. Uh, we only stayed a couple hours because Gracie, she's just starting to get used to being in the kennel. Uh, plus, we got back, and then Barb and I went up to the community tree, took off all the old Christmas tree lights. Wasn't that a fun job? I had sap in my hair. Oh, it was just a mess. Plus, the tree had grown around the lights from last year. We're putting all new lights on this year, and we're going to run them from the top down to the bottom, you know, at an angle around the whole tree. We're going to do that way to prevent the, the massive tangling. It was like a spider web on tangling them lights. So we had probably 400 lights or better on the tree. Some were burnt out and that, so we've, I've got to go through the lights and test them. So that's, uh, it was yesterday. Saturday, what did I do? Saturday I went in to work for a little bit because I had helped change the oil. And then, um, Happy was out of his four-wheeler all day. He had a really, really, really good time. I'm so happy he did. Um, yeah, and of course I worked Friday. And yeah, it's, it's just been, it's been non-stop. So, it's a cloudy, like, drizzly morning here. And I'm drinking some coffee to wake up, because up every half hour since 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock last night, up every half hour. It wasn't him, it was the dog. I think she had sympathy diarrhea. I have no idea, but yeah. So I cleaned up six puddles this morning off the deck. 
other than that, um, so I'm going to be get editing the uh, Samuel interview, and then um, get it to him for his approval, and then I will schedule the premiere sometime early December. Um, trying to think. So far, I don't have a, teach, a teaching schedule for the next few weeks, so that's a good thing. I might have some time to get my house clean because it's a disaster area. I gotta start baking Christmas cookies. I'm only doing a few this year due to the cost of everything going up. And I know my phone's probably crooked there. Um, it's on a different, it's on a magnetic thing that I have clipped to my old uh, holder. So um, I, did, I do have a uh, couple finishes and some progress on some whips. So if I don't have to work tonight, I'll do a whips and finished objects video. Um, I do have the video done for the creator box, but I I think I'm going to redo it just because the audio. I, I got the audio working good on my mic now. I think I got the settings all straightened out. The, uh, the, uh, the thing with it was I had to have it plugged. Because of the power that it takes, I had to have it put into a 3.0 um, type C USB port. So I had to do a little reconfiguration on my accessory hookups. So, but I got that done. Um, so I'll just redo the video and get that up so you can enter to win the creator box. And just getting on a ferry. So, I don't have any knitting or crocheting with me today, which is unusual, but um, I, I was going to catch the 9 o'clock, but I looked at where I have to go, Body River. I said, no, I better catch 8.30. I don't even have time to stop at Timmy's for a coffee, so I brought my own coffee I think, this morning. And I got my briefcase. It's a rolling computer case with my instructor manuals and some of my teaching tools. Maybe one of these days I'll tell you a little bit about what I do. Um, but let me see what else is going on. I'm waiting on one small yarn order. Um, I've got a couple bo boxes in my yarn cover closet, whatever that, <laughs> yeah, I want to call it, that I'm making up the mystery boxes. It'll go, uh, December I'm going to have some, oh, probably half a dozen or better mystery boxes for sale. Um, and I'll put all the details in about that. Um, I'm also this week going to draw three pattern winners from the outside your uh, hashtag outside your comfort zone from the Yaya group. So, um, because it's been, I don't think I, I think I drew some in October. I'm not sure. I try to draw at least once a month for that three winners for uh, patterns, you know. Um, and I'm kind of reassessing. Uh, the giftaways. Don't I'm still going to do giftaways, but I may do one a month that is a physical prize, um, or but I'm going to do some gift cards because gift cards don't have any shipping, so all the money I'd spend on shipping. Um, you know, I can do two gift cards. You know, I can have a couple gift ways. Um, everybody's been talking about it, the shipping and everything like that. And I am right there with them. Um, I managed to, I had to redo one of my advent boxes. I re-took everything out, redid the wrapping on it, and reconfigured the box. So, the, 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 get, the goal is to keep it under 2 kilograms. No matter where it goes in the world, keep it under 2 kilograms. Um, so one I'm sending, it, it has tracking. Um, tracking is a little bit more expensive, but um, with the, the amount that's in the box, it's, it's worth it. Um, the uh, shipping on it was $89. It was two kilo, two, just shy of 2 kilograms. And it's in a, a 40 centimeter by 31 centimeter by 
big 19 centimeter box. It's, you know, so, <coughs> but, and the person will receive it before December 1st. It's guaranteed to be there in 6 to 12 days. So, when you're sending stuff to the other side of the world, yeah, it, it uh, things. I have some people that had gotten a uh, gift, had won a gift away or a gift away I had sponsored with somebody else. I got a few people that I haven't seen if they got their package. Um, if you're one of those people, just let me know. Um, I just like to know that you got it because I keep them in my address book, my brown book, the, you know, like as Lisa calls them, the nosy notebooks. Um, I have anybody that's ever won a gift away, what they, what, what, what they won and stuff, you know, in that book, addresses and then little, little notes like birthday, favorite color, allergies, whatever. Um, and I still have a couple that I haven't got confirmation. They got, I've only had one package that has not got delivered since I've been doing this that went missing and I just replaced everything and sent her another package and she got that one so I said if the other one ever shows up you know keep it <laughs> you know call it a bonus um I said a few new fiber family members thank you I appreciate that um but yeah so this is I'm just uh on the fair and like I said it's a it's a it has been such weird weather west out west is getting hammered with snow in Alberta Clipper over here, over the weekend, we had 19, 20, 21, you know, beautiful weather, sunny, gorgeous weather. Tomorrow, I have to work, the high's going to be 9, and the, zero, and the low's 0, so burr, and then um, today, it's uh, either today or Wednesday, is supposed to be single days also, but then it's back up in the mid-teens, this is all Celsius, by the way. So, it's crazy weather. It's pneumonia weather. Um, the flu that hubby had is, I know it's the flu. Um, believe me, it's, uh, and I told him, I don't want it. Don't give it to me. I don't need it. Um, there's a flu going around, apparently. And since they, um, I really haven't, I really haven't said anything. I'm, I think you know he's been sick. Um, but they're trying to suppress his immune system because what's happened is, whatever's going on with the double pneumonia and that his immune system is in overdrive and it is attacking his his lungs and it, they're, in, they're inflamed and he tremendous trouble breathing so um, they're giving him high do 30 days of high dosage steroids and I mean high dosage 14 pills a day for 30 days and uh, yeah you're all just a blur now um, so on top and then on top of that he He's, so he's going to be susceptible to getting sick. I'm hoping and praying that, that they, you know, that, that this, because it's been a miserable couple months for him with this. It really, really has. And watching him struggle to breathe. But, um, so, you keep in your prayers. Or good thoughts. And, uh, Gracie, well, Gracie's, Gracie's Gracie. <laughs> She's growing like a weed. She, uh, I bought a kennel. I bought an extra large kettle, the biggest kettle I could get. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got the solid, like, airline kennel. It's got two, 270 degrees of ventilation around it, just in the corner of the room. And it's only for when we have to go someplace. Um, until she settles down and quits tearing apart the house and eating everything that comes out in her, her poop, um, you know, I have to do this. It's for her own safety. She's not happy about it, but yesterday she was there four hours and she didn't. She didn't have any meds. She didn't have meds. The first time, she got sick and had an accident and was cowering in the corner in her kennel, and I didn't holler at her. Um, and then come to find out, she had been eating something because she had some blood in her stool and around her bum, but it was she scratched her rectum or something because it was bright red. If it was darker red, I'd really be worried because it meant that it was further up in her colon or bowel. So, yeah, Gracie's crazy. Love her to death. But, oh, my other two dogs weren't like this. Gracie is unique. Um, I know this, this one doesn't, this, this doesn't have a lot of yarny content in it. Uh, but it's, I guess it's more like a vlog. A fairy vlog without me working, just sitting in my car. And I do have, oh, I do have and I have my seatbelt on too, so you can I have my, um, 
fantastic floral tea on. I took the flowers off. So I have, I made this. And it's made in, it's patterned by Stephanie Aaron. And it's made in Cotton King's Twirl. Twirl, yeah, Cotton King Twirl. They don't call them twirls anymore. I've had that probably for three years in my stash. But it's a black, white, gray gradient. And um, so I, I'm wearing something I wore. Um, let me see. Christmas is coming. Um, I do have uh, everything that was in the auction. I have uh, what, what sold. I put on my Ko-Fi page. But if you guys want, if anybody would like to buy a, a gift for somebody of any of the sweaters or shawls that I've knit um, or crocheted, um, let me know in the comments below. Sometime this week, I'll put up a uh, mention on the community tab. Um, I have I do have some computer work to do this week. I have to do the call it flyer for the community tree because for the first time I'm going to ask if, if people would like to donate a raffle prize because hubby and I have covered everything for the past six years but this year we're going to ask you know hey donate a little raffle prize and I'm only worried about the kids this year we're not going to do the amount that we normally used to do because it's just going to be too much it's just been it's been rough times for everybody but I try to concentrate the positive uh, positive that everybody enjoys the the evening, the event. It's it's become an event, so everybody loves to, loves. To, I've already been asking me about it. Excuse me. So I'm going to close this here. It's at 16 minutes and, and get this uploaded, and then later on I'll try doing another little one. So I hope wherever you are, you're staying healthy, happy, and safe. If you're doing what you love to do, whatever makes you happy, whether it's a craft, reading, drawing. Whatever makes you happy. And uh, hug smells and happiness. Pass it on. Make the world a better place. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. From the deck of the Abnaki in the middle of the Bay of Monday.